What's up folks? Thanks for tuning in. Gobgoo Barbecue. You're looking at the Weber 26, getting it ready to do a rack of beef ribs today using the uh, fire disc for the second time. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, just put the uh, fire disc on. And I think I may have figured out why if any of you guys watching saw my cook from yesterday where I did the chicken wings on this thing for the first time. Uh, the hot, the center was hotter than the outer edges where it's supposed to be cooler in the center by design. But I had it misproperly seated on uh, the other video. Those four notches cutouts that you see right there. I didn't know what the hell they were for yesterday. Didn't put any effort into figuring it out. Uh, but line those up um, to the hinges there, whatever that, whatever you want to call it for the grill grate. And uh, it's going to go through those and it's going to sit a little lower. So it's sitting about an inch and a half lower because I had it sitting right on those things yesterday, I think. Um, and then the grill grate on top of that. Anyways, uh, we'll be back. Going to let this thing come up to temp and going to get these beef ribs on there. All right. I'm curious to see now that I have the disc seated the right way. Excuse me about that. I want to check the temps and see how we're doing, if it's still hot in the center. So, 245. I have a row of uh, briquettes, king fur briquette, blue and whites going that way. Um, center it up as much as possible. Let's see, two. Oh, definitely a lot hotter than yesterday when I had this seated wrong. Uh, I had it up about another inch and a half higher. So yeah, it's doing good. Big difference. Big difference. Cool. I think this thing's ready. Check it out. The rack of beef ribs seasoned up with meat church, holy voodoo, and Bama Q's Bama beef. Uh, seasoned it up pretty heavily. That's why I like that's the way I like it, because it makes usually generates great bark. So that said, let's get these thing get these bastards on. Go. We're going to put it right in the center where it's supposed to be the coolest because this fire dial pushes the heat out to the outside. Well, can't talk today. Uh, anyways, I think that thing is pretty good to go. So I'm going to close the lid. I've got a chunk of white oak uh, flaming up right there. That's what you see right there. Um, other than that, this is a very fatty American Wagyu rack of beef ribs. And I don't anticipate getting any flare-ups with this thing. Uh, it's one of the side benefits of it. Um, other than that, its main purpose is to turn your Weber into a smoker by allowing you to put your meat in the center where it would be in direct heat because it pushes the heat out to the outside of the disc and the smoke as well. So anyways, enough chat. Here we go. All right, so I just closed the lid up uh, from the last shot. And I closed the damper up, so it should be only open maybe quarter inch. Uh, I want to try to keep this in the high 200s. Um, that's how I do it. So I will adjust that accordingly to get me the temp that I want. But uh, so hopefully it's going to be a good turnout. Don't see why it won't. Back later. All right, been about an hour and 10 minutes. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Put in a, uh, in a thermometer there. It's 289 right there and 250 on the dome dial. So let's come in. Look at that. Hear it? Smells so good. I think it's that uh, Bama Q, the Bama beef. Mm. All right. No flare ups, nothing. Got those coals right under there. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, this is the two hour, 15 minute mark. It's running about 315 on my probe there that I have. It's saying 300 on the dome. Oh, let's just get smoke get out of there. Let's see what we have. Oh, look at that. Got some bone poking through there. Oh man. Get in nice and close. Look at that. 
that's looking good let's check out the other side there got some very nice looking pullback the bark starting to develop that white oak man smelling good really digging this uh this new weber accessory man fire dial no flare-ups man love it new way to new way to smoke on the weber all right anyways i'll be back all right two hours 40 minutes it's time to temperature test these guys out see where we're at gotta be getting close it's looking mighty fine Man, then when that smoke clears, you get a real nice shot. All right, hang on a sec. It's pin ready. All right, there we go. Try to get that in there so you can see it. Ooh, 208, 209. How's that? 210, 212, we're done. Damn. All right, let me get set up here so I can cut. I'm going to take these off. But first, I'm going to cut in and take a look. I have a bite. Well, let's test over here. Are we, are we, before I get too gung ho, are we 211? 212, yeah. That's pretty much uh, 215. Overshot it a little bit. We usually like to take them off 203, 205 when it comes to beef ribs, but uh, these were very, very fatty. Uh, and I wanted to render that down because the American Wagyu is tons of fat. But anyways, man, enough chit chat. Be right back. All right, let's cut into this. Let's see how the bottom is. All right, bottom. That was some. Very thick fat down there, probably the membrane too. That's very uh, kind of charred up, so. That's hot. All right, sorry about this. We can find a good spot. All right, there we go, these are just tender enough. I should be able to do just that. Let's see how it looks. Not bad, huh? Look at that bark. That's nice. Very, very nice. Man. All right, I'm gonna cut one of these off and try it out. Then I'm gonna take the rest off and let them cool down inside because it's like 38 degrees out here. Look at that. Does that look good or what? Damn. American Wagyu. Let's have a little bite. Mmm. Took two bites. Ah, that's perfect. When it comes to beef ribs, I don't like to eat all the fat that's in there. I like to really render it down. Man. Wow. This fire dial, very impressed with it. Looks like I'm getting some flames down there. I better put the lid on. Probably all the grease running around down there. Um, anyways, Gabagoo Barbecue. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see next. But very, very impressed with the fire dial. Um, anyways, going to have some of this Bama, Bama beef and uh, Meat Church's Holy Voodoo. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check it. Check that out. All right, two hours, 40 minutes, total cook time between 289 degrees and 317. All right, guys, later.